baseball fans and welcome two of the best teams in the game square off it's the Miami Marlins taking on the Minnesota Twins and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this all right ready to go here and at the play for Miami Brian De La Cruz the pitch Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Adios, Peralta. He wastes no time on this one. His 46th of the year. And the Marlins jump out in front. It's 1-0. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Well struck right field. And it hits the top of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Willie Adamas stands in. Into center. Buxton moves under it. And there's one down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jake Berger. Jake Berger. Hit high in the air. There it goes. Cena. A gigantic blast. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 3 0. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs. That's legitimate power at the plate, and that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. Next to hit, Jesus Sanchez. And it one hops the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Now he launches a throw over his head. That makes it a 15-game hitting streak. And there's some buzz about it now, Singy. It's nothing crazy, but it does say a lot about how well he's seeing pitches and really making solid contact, barreling up the baseball at times. And everything, it seems, he's hitting hard. As hot as he is, I could see this streak going for a little while longer. Here's Taylor Trammell. He's been doing a good job knocking in his teammates. More than an RBI per game. That one ripped. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double. But the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of him right away. It was a nice swing. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Fortes. A lot of clutch hitting from him recently. Nine RBI over his last five. Oh, that ball finds its way to the outfield. A base hit. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 5 nothing. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout yeah. now, and he's going to make Same a change. Now. Joe Ryan will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Jordan Balazovic taking over on the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Now it's Nick Zenzel. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Lie drive. Quad makes the catch. And that is. And we're back. And on the hill, Sandy Alcantara. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Here comes the 1. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The oh, offense has worked play. hard. It's shut down inning time. And a ball and two strikes. Hey. Got him. One out. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. 
Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late. No balls, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Royce Lewis in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, oh, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Two out spaces empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day. Oh, that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Here's Byron Buxton. Well, that's pretty much the last thing you're looking to do with two outs and the base is empty. You have the opportunity to be really aggressive with that hitter. You don't want to wake up an offense, and you don't want to give a team an extra out. Two outs. He goes down looking. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning, set to go. And now for the Marlins, Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Ripped on a line to center. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning hits a bullet, and it just is one of those bad luck ABs. There's a swing and a drive. Adios, Pelota. It just got out of here. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Now it's the second baseman, Willie Adamas. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one's carrying. Bangs off the wall. Adamas into second, and he's got a double. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first now pitch. Bad. Showed off some really pitch. nice oppo yeah. pop with that swing and Ooh. just couldn't get it over the fence. But I... Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Adios, Pelota. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 8-0. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's absolutely punishing mistakes right now. He can't miss. So one out, nobody on. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Line drive, base hit right field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's... Two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And that one hammered. Adios, Pelota! A massive home run. His 67th home run of the year, and they add a pair. It's 10-0. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep it. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Caleb Eelbar. 